Rafael Nadal walks into this 137th edition of the U.S. Open not only as the top seed but, as of last Monday, as the freshly minted number one ranked man in the world. This is the fourth time he's held the top spot and almost nine years after his inaugural stint. The particular manner in which Nadal has come into this position amounts to a certain amount of luck, on his part, and bad fortune, Andy Murray, Stan Wawrinka, Novak Djokovic, and Roger Federer have each been suffering from injuries lately, with Wawrinka and Djokovic finished for the season, for others. Still, Nadal is not taking the ranking for granted. I'm happy when I know I'm going to be number one again, he said. It's a great achievement for me. A lot of things have happened in those three years when I wasn't number one, some injuries of my own, some low points. But I enjoy the practice, I wake up every morning and feel that I need to improve something. Nadal spoke to us in the Midtown showroom of Cosentino, the Spanish architectural and design surfaces company for which he serves as a brand ambassador. As with so many celebrity endorsements, the big question is, do they really use the product they endorse? It's a clear yes in Nadal's case, the Rafa Nadal Academy, a state-of-the-art and eccentric complex which opened last year in Mallorca, Spain, Nadal's hometown, uses more than 430,000 square feet of the stuff. We have an international school for kids from age 12 to 18, a medical center, and 27 courts, with 19 more on the way, clay and hard. Kids come and spend the whole year there, we have summer camps and we have programs for adults to come and learn more about tennis and other sports. My uncle Tony, Nadal's legendary coach of a dozen years, who stepped down from the job to run the academy, is there every day working with kids, along with Carlos Moya, retired Spanish player and former number one, and a great staff. Doc Cosentino has been a great help, I'm very satisfied with the way the whole center looks and works. Of course, for a tennis player. Number one rankings often take a backseat to the real Holy Grail, a Grand Slam title, something Nadal has achieved 15 times, second in the men's circuit only to Federer's 19. Nadal is feeling good about the way his game is looking, too, despite the less than stellar showing in recent hardcourt tournaments. The simple fact is, Grand Slams beget Grand Slams, and while he starts off Tuesday at 11 a.m. against Serbia's Dusan Lajovic and has to overcome a few potential spoilers between him and another title, Federer most prominent among them, he says he draws from the energy of the crowd and thrives in New York City in general. Then again, if things don't go his way, there's a fallback he's been devoted to for years, Broadway. I've been many, many times. His favorite? The fandom of the opera, I love it. I have seen it maybe five times. Here's hoping his day job keeps him busy.